Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to cover uh, off-phase issues with recording using virtual amps and impulse responses. Uh, I came across this issue with my last um, demo that I did and uh, had heaps of phase issues, it was, um, it was terrible and um, one of the things I've done is I've gone back to basics and I'm actually reviewing each of my virtual amps and, and whether they're actually um, have got a phase problem or not and I'll just show you how I'm doing that. So in this example I've got a bass line here, you can hear it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check if uh, in this setup I've got basically bass mini which is from that other previous video I've done. Base DI is where my recordings are done, and then I have a preamp, and then I feed that preamp to a distorted channel and a clean channel. So what I'm going to do is, with this clean channel in particular, I have um, a Lapu 456 and the impulse responses for that. And um, I'm going to basically check um, if the output of that has got a phase problem or not. So I'll show you how I do it. Uh, within Reaper, first I'll disable this DI line because otherwise I'll get that as interference. So within Reaper, what I'll do is I'll put in a, um, a tone generator. So there's a tone generator here. And I'll put that at the beginning. And then there is a, another plugin called an oscillator. Uh, sorry, sorry, oscilloscope. And that is this one here. Now, if I was to turn off these plugins and just turn on the oscilloscope and the tone, you can see that there is a wave coming through there. Um, I will just turn that volume down. So, what I want to do here is uh, I want to see that sine wave. So, I'll zoom in on it and drag the now to get it stop moving around, you click on the retrig. That sound is usually good. So you can see there, I've got a um, a sine wave. Looks pretty good. So the first thing I want to do is check what happens when um, it goes through the the uh, LE four five six. And as you can see, there's a fair bit of gain reduction there. Um, I can pretty much go with that. So to be honest with you, that's a little bit of gain reduction, but not too much. But definitely no phase issues, right? It's just looking good so far. So I then turn on the next one, which is my impulse responses. Now you can see that there is something happening there, <coughs> which are too sterile. So the first thing I want to do is line up the phase. So normally what I do is I would use a delay and you can see this one is goes in the wrong direction so use this one instead. Okay and I'm now lining up the phase issue. Um, let me reset the... I now have um, the correctly line, the, the, the phase aligned. I could play around with the, the signal a bit, but I think you'll find that it's not exactly how the uh, impulse responses work. So what we'll do next is if I now get rid of get rid of these, um, and now I'm going to turn the bass back on again. Okay, you can see it's ridiculously high. Okay, um, even that one's higher. So I'll try and adjust these accordingly. Now, what was perfectly in line before as um, as the sine wave, you can see that they're back out of whack again. See the left side is clearly much higher. So it's 
So I bring everything back to zero again. I can see my minus 18 is pretty close. This one's actually a bit high. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Okay, and you can see now the values are fairly close. And that should be um, an in-phase response. So, yeah, that's how you do it. Hopefully um, someone finds that interesting. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you get any feedback. Thank you, guys.